Recently I got this surfacing router cutter bit from Radian Tools. Let's see how well it works to thickness a couple of fretboards. I've always used a router sled for thicknessing, but I've never had a specialist router bit to do the job. And that's now what I've got with this one. Now the fretboards I'm going to test it on, I've got a piece of Indian rosewood, um, which has just been rough sawn at the moment. And I've also got a piece of black bean, which is an Australian timber. Um, this one has already been sort of thickness and surfaced to a smooth uh, finish, um, but it's thicker than it needs to be. So I'll use the router bit on this one as well to get it to the desired thickness. And on the Indian rosewood, um, I'll be using it to smooth it out and see what kind of result we get. The black bean board has got quite prominent uh, figuring across it. So I'm really interested to see um, what kind of finish we get from the router bit without needing any uh, sanding or other finishing. Okay, let's get these stuck to the router sled and see how it goes. Right, let's see if we can get a close-up of the rosewood. I've thickened both sides of the fretboard now, and this is the second side. And this only had one pass um, over from rough sawn to this. Um, and I must say, um, I'm super impressed with how smooth a finish this gets. Um, I'll just pause it in a few spots and see if it stays focused. But that is a, that's a gluing surface. I don't think I'll need to do anything else here. Um, there's a few sort of really faint lines where the uh, the router bit sort of overlapped itself, um, but you can't actually feel those. It's more just a, a visual kind of thing. So, um, as I said, I don't think I would risk uh, sanding this. Um, this looks like a, a perfect gluing surface. So one pass from rough sawn um, to uh, to a brilliantly flat um, finish. So that's the rosewood, let's have a go at the uh, black bean next. Well, it's worked even better on the black bean. That is just one pass, um, probably about half a mil I took off, and there's no uh, sort of crossover lines um, at all that I can see. The figuring's there, there was no chip out, which I thought might have happened. So um, I'm actually super impressed uh, with this one. I thought this board would be a bit more troublesome than the rosewood, but um, hopefully you can see this clear enough um, that that is quite an amazing finish um, from the router bit. Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to, to using this board on a, on a guitar very soon.
All right, so final verdict. This router bit certainly does exactly what you would hope it to do, uh, and I'm super impressed that I've got it. Um, these fretboards, both of them, the surface that it has finished with um, is really a gluing surface. I would be quite confident um, in gluing that to a guitar neck um, and having no issues with it at all. Now this router bit was one that I got with one of the prizes from the Great Guitar Build-Off, so I didn't sort of pay for it myself as such, um, but even having said that, uh, I would certainly recommend this to anyone who doesn't have a thickness planer um, or who just wants to save a bit of space and make their life a bit easier. Now both of these fretboards will be used for builds that I'll be starting probably over the next month or so. Um, the rosewood will be a more traditional build, although this has come up with quite a purple tinge to it, so I might have to research a little bit for Indian rosewood because it's really not uh, the look that I was going for. Um, and this one here, the black bean, uh, will be used for one of my sort of custom um, guitars coming up soon. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.